Hello everyone, my name is Stephen Boydston and I'm a research associate with the American Institutes for Research or AIR and I've worked with the Center on Knowledge Translation for Disability and Rehabilitation Research uh, or KTDRR for the past four years. Um, I wanted to present a short video exploring and demonstrating one of our resources that we have at the Center on KTDRR uh, which is specifically the Registry of Systematic Reviews. So starting on our homepage here at ktdrr.org, uh, we're going to go up to Resources at the top and Registry of Systematic Reviews. From there, you'll see one of our basic landing pages. And it'll tell you a little bit about the registry, uh, why it was created, what the inclusion rules are, how you can contribute to the registry, um, and so on. On the left will be a new navigation that'll appear and will tell you some of these things uh, as well. Where if you want to jump to a specific area, you can do that. So about searching, we'll give you general instructions for searching uh, keywords or phrases. Uh, Boolean logic such as and, or, or not can be used. Uh, you can also search by author name. Uh, typically last name and first initial or you can use first name as well. Uh, journal names, we have uh, many different journals and articles from different journals that you can search from. Uh, publication date and what type of review including Cochrane and Campbell for example. So let's go on to actually looking at the registry. From here you'll see the actual search fields that I was just describing. And what I'll do is I'll go ahead and give you just a quick example of a few searches that we could do. So in the keyword or phrases, for example, let's go ahead and add in disability and use the logic and rehabilitation. And go ahead and submit that search. So you see that search came back with 27 entries matching those search criteria and this is the list of all of the citations of those records. So you can click on any one of these individual links and it will bring you to the full record where you'll see the abstract, keywords, and other fields. So going back, we'll go back to the search field and we'll clear the form using this red button in the bottom right. And as the next example, we'll go ahead and do a search using uh, the author's last name, for example. I'm going to go ahead and use Murphy and submit. This comes back with only one record, so instead of seeing a list of all of the options, it only displays the actual record as a citation. And again, presents the abstract keywords and full citation and a link to the actual full text if it's available. And going back now to the search fields, we'll do one more example here. Clearing the form, we'll do a search using a journal specifically. So the journals that we have in the database have been entered here. And just as an example, we'll go ahead and use physical therapy and submit that search. So you see this comes back with six entries matching those search criteria. And what you can do is if you toggle all of those records, you can also view all of the marked items at the same time and to compare certain results that you'd like to see. So once you do that, you also have the option at the bottom here to email yourself these search results. So record for later or to have as, a, as an appendix or anything else that may be useful. So that is just a brief demonstration of the Registry of Systematic Reviews. I hope it was helpful, and if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to get in touch with us through email at ktdrr at